Howdy everyone, my name is Escape Pac-Man and welcome back to Scalar. So I had a couple brief um, conversations with the developer and uh, I was doing these tombstones wrong. They gave me some direction on that. But also there's a few, there was a few bugs in the game and I tried to record this again, but like there were some of the spheres that weren't loading like at all. They, they were uh, lagging the game out to no end. So. Uh, we're gonna start fresh, and I'm gonna complete this one, and then we'll move on to some of the other ones, and I'll show you some cool stuff that I found while working on a previous episode that didn't get aired because of, like, recording issues. So, that said, I was told that you just walk into the th these tombstones, but I was walking into the front of them. You see that kind of scoots? You're supposed to walk into the back of them and block the stream. <laughs> so I'm gonna go do that on all these. Blonk. Blonk. That's three down. I think there's two more. And this graveyard is very peaceful but creepy. It's one of those weird things. Alright, here's the last one. Wow. It's so, so thud so percussive. And there it is! A nice little tiny ball. Boink! And it's just gone. <laughs> we scale ourselves up, get ourselves out of here. And that is the graveyard level that I got stuck on last time. But there's a few others that are interesting uh, that I didn't show how to get to or where to go. So there's this one on here, and that one has like uh, bouncy platforms where you get on the platform big, and then as the platform springs back up, you scale down and you shoot off to the next one. And you have to be real careful about how quickly you scale yourself down. Um, there's this green and purple one, which actually uh, you have to get on this table, jump up these shelves, get on top of the painting or photo, whatever that is, on top of the white shelf, and you see that electrical, like, uh, channel? You There's a little gap there. You get on top of that and walk all the way out to the light, jump off the light into the sphere, which... That's a whole process in itself. You can see another one of those along the ceiling over here. You get on top of this shelf, there's a, another box up there. You get on the electrical railing again and go all the way around to around, about right here. Then jump off into the sphere. Uh, there's this one. You can jump from the couch and as you jump upward, you scale yourself down and it like launches you forward. It's really cool. Um, this one we already tried to get into last time. You can get on top of this shelf, drop onto the binder, and then get inside. Uh, and that's all of the spheres that I know of. Um, there might be more added later. They did update, the developer did update the game, but I haven't played the update. This is still the previous update that has all the issues that I'm talking about. Um, they're still working on a, a good way to smooth out the scaling, and they fixed a few bugs with like textures and stuff if you change um, the game's quality, the image quality. Um, so yeah, it's been very productive talking with this developer, but let's go try this red one over here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump up on here, and then as you sprint jump forward, scale yourself down as soon as you leave the ground as you're like rising and you'll like float in that same trajectory it's an odd mechanic but it works like this then this one has caused me problems forever <laughs> we're gonna see if it works last time I came in here after going into a different sphere it screwed up royally we're going to see if it works this time. So I'm going to be the next size up, do a jump, and then scale down into it. Are you going to work? No more no more horrifyingly bad uh, 
frame rate here. Frame rate's fine. Okay. So the orb in this one is in that little cave right there. If I scale up, you see it right there. <laughs> so there's the the developer said that this canyon sphere is not a, a finished piece. Uh, this isn't the final layout. This was kind of just a thrown together idea, uh, what they had. And I'm just going to go collect that. Oh, I overshot. Can I correct myself? Yes, I can. Let's drop. Aha! Thank you. I'm getting to be an old hat at that now. I in the previous episode that I lost, I lost I, I fell out of that so many times. And it's not that we're standing still, we're just falling really slow because we're super tiny. If I scale myself up while in midair, we'll land and then it's fine. So yeah. Oh, but the shadow is still there for some reason. That's weird. I think the shadows are baked in instead of dynamic, which is fine. I mean, it's still a, a game is still in development. Uh, this is also part of the decade-long jam. If you don't know what that is, go on itch.io. Uh, I could, I if I remember, I'll leave a link to it in the description. But uh, basically, in 2020, a dev uh, somebody started a decade-long jam where you can submit as many games as you want as long as you're proving that you're learning in the process and you have 10 years to make a game or multiple games and you can update the same game over 10 years you can make multiple games over 10 years as long as you're submitting games to it and this is it's instead of pressuring you into making a game really quick it, the, the idea is that you make the best game or multiple games that you possibly can and learn as much as you possibly can. This I could see Thor getting behind a game jam like this. So, that aside, <laughs> let's try and do that red one up there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and cheese this just a little bit. It was super effective. Oh, oh, oh. That was not effective. Hang on. Okay. There's a whole lot of butt clenching. So if you see me pop up just a little bit, that's me clenching my butt at some of these jumps. You have to be tall enough where you get a decent jump, but not so tall that you hit your head on something, because that'll knock you down with uh, the bounce physics. It, it's odd. It's super odd. But it works. Uh, it's pretty cool. So I'm gonna go this size. Yeet. Jump up on the edge of this box. What's the next size? Do? Okay. Oh, whoa, too far. Crap. All right, I'm gonna have to do that again. I really love this game. This is such a unique mechanic. Hang on, I'll 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 get this. Huh. Too far. Too far. And there's a couple other bugs that I found that I want to showcase here too, but we'll get to that. Okay, how about... How about no? Oh, hey, I got on here. Alright, that only took like six tries. Alright, this is a very different platforming. I do like that shine effect, but it's a little bit distracting. Yep. Love the music. <laughs> the music change in each sphere is weird, but really cool. Uh, I think we're going to like that mass. Where's the line? Oh, it's below me. Uh, it's right there. It goes to whatever that mass is up there. But we have a long way to climb in this one. I haven't done this one before. Yeah. No. No. All right. Well, it takes some finagling, getting used to that scaling while jumping thing. It's the scale function is on your mouse wheel, so using the mouse wheel while trying to direct yourself and jump, and it takes some coordination that I don't have. <laughs> 
All right. Oh, I screwed that up. Hang on. Land it. Good. Butt clinch. Uh, where do I go now? It's, that's a that's a good question. Right here, maybe. Hmm. Oh, I don't like that. Because that's over open area and not easy to get back in here. Um, shoot. I feel like I could land on that, but I'm going to miss real easy. Oh, I got it. Okay, I'm at the top. Whoa. Can make it to that, right? Now where? I'm way out at the edge. Can I make it on top of that? Mmm. It's a tough jump. Absolutely not. Okay. How about on top of that? Yes. Get on here. Oh, am I anywhere near close? Where's that line? Uh, I don't see the line anywhere. Where to next? Probably on top of there. <sighs> Alright. <sighs> nope. Nope, I completely screwed that. Oh my god. That's why it looks like I'm flying at, at some times where uh, I'll jump and then scale myself down at the same time. So you keep your original momentum, but your mass is smaller, so you're just flying. It's great. I love that. Ah, damn it. Okay, well, I'll come back to this one. Hang on. There, there's this other one that I want to get to. Yeah. Oh, I went the wrong way. Yep. Butt clinch. Okay. Uh, yep. Okay, I made it on top. Alright, now we're on top of that cable, and it's going to be a long walk there because you can only be so big. Alright, approaching the end. Then we go this way, until we line up with that sphere. A little bit more. Now, my goal is to jump in there and land on one of the spheres. I think the spheres have gravity. Here we go. Oh, it kicked me out. <laughs> I should have scaled down so that it would have sucked me into one of the things. It's fine. Anyway. One of the bugs I found uh, if, is if you get really small on the couch. Hang on. Get yourself stuck in one of these. Get yourself real small on the couch. Boop. Graphics go away. Uh. Does it go... I found a way to walk around, like, inside of the... Oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if there's, like, a, a seam back there that is missing or what, but you can get yourself inside of the couch. 
which is fun. Uh, and then to get out, you just scale yourself back up and jump out, and it kind of kicks you out. Uh, let's do this one. Oh, that was too big. Hang on. Next size down. Hit. Okay. Now, my problem is getting on there is difficult. Oh, I failed that so many times last time. Huh. And that one. All right, trying again. Just have to remember to scale it properly. Yup. There we go. All right, then let's get on here. Way up, scale down. All right. Now I've never been in this particular one, but we'll see how it goes. Oh, it even has like electrical cables and stuff. That's cool. All right. So from the white bell, go out to the edge, and heal. Hello. So, what's the deal with this? Is that interesting? Okay. Why are you tiny? Hello? Oh, you're just up here. Oh, what? Oh! It teleports you back out and you have to try again? Oh, and if you're too small, it just yeets you out. Interesting. That's a weird one. Okay. Well, I, and I think the last one we have to check out, because uh, you guys saw, I don't know, actually, you know what, I don't know if you saw that one yet, last time. Let's go in the green one, I'll show you what it's all about, and if you want me to solve these, uh, we can do it next time. But I just want to showcase what each orb does first. What each sphere does first. I believe we did. Did I show you guys this one? I don't remember. I recorded that like two weeks ago. <laughs> Or a week ago. Get a run up. Alright. So, this one's interesting because you have to be a certain size for the thing to throw you. So, the smaller you are, the lighter you are, the more you travel. Then you have to embiggen yourself to land on ones. So, this one's really, really tough. Oh, uh, I think we're aiming for that one. Ah, I bounced off. All right, let's try again. Let's try... Stall. Oh, I made it. Uh, oh my god, that's going to be difficult. And it's at the very top, too. All right. Uh, oh, too big. Uh, too small to begin with, then too big. Okay, so that's that one. And then the last one is the bouncies. Huh. Oops. Let's try that jump again. I am small. Okay, get in here. Get on this edge. Get really tiny. Oh, it is so hard to see. Alright, once you're in here, it's not so bad. So the idea is, for this one, you 
jump on this. And then scale yourself down as you leave it. And these all take a skill that I don't have. <laughs> Then you have to scale yourself back up as you're landing. It's kind of a giant pain in the ass. Yep. Oh, it's a giant pain in the ass. All right. This one sinks too, but I could probably just make that jump. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Wonder if I can make this jump. Ah. Or if there's a shortcut some way, somehow. That was almost a shortcut. Oh god. Alright, well. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is there another one I don't know about? Hang on. Yeah, I think there's one that I don't know about. Level? It's about table height. Where are you? Is there another orb somewhere that I haven't seen yet? There's one inside the table. What the hell? There is. There's one inside the freaking table. Ah, okay. So you have to land on that platform. That's not too bad. Why does it bounce me off like that? I don't get it. God damn it. Alright, well... <laughs> I really want to get that one for some reason. Anyway, we're going to leave this episode here. Let me know which one of these spheres you want me to conquer next time. Uh, I'm going to relay any information I have to the developer. They're actively working on this. And the game launches on my birthday, which this video will come out after my birthday, after it launches on Steam. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, share it with a friend. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time. I hit my elbow.